Here at Tri-State Bariatrics, we offer three surgical procedures to assist you in your weight loss journey. The laparoscopic gastric band, the sleeve gastrectomy, and the gastric bypass. With the gastric bypass, you can see that the upper portion of the stomach is transected to create a smaller pouch and a reservoir which measures about one ounce to two ounces of uh, fluid. The intestine is then transected and brought up for continuation of that gastric pouch so that you're bypassing the majority of the stomach. The sleeve gastrectomy, as you can see, is a more capacity-driven operation where we reduce the capacity of the stomach by about uh, 60 to 80 percent so that the capacity of the stomach is significantly decreased so that smaller portions of food do provide that satiety needed. The lap band system, once again, uh, as depicted here, is an operation that places a device upon the upper portion of the stomach to provide restriction, which limits the amount of food that can be eaten in a given time. The laparoscopic band is adjustable, and that adjustment is done in the office where we can adjust the size of the band and how much restriction uh, will be given by that device. With regard to surgical time, hospital stay, and mortality rate, you can see that the laparoscopic gastric band takes about 30 minutes to perform. It is a same day procedure and the national average as far as mortality rate is 0.03%. The sleeve gastrectomy is about a 45 minute procedure. It is an overnight stay and its national average mortality rate is 0.13%. The gastric bypass is about a 75 minute procedure with two overnight stays and a 0.13% national mortality rate. Our mortality rate as a practice across the board is 0%. When we look at the estimated weight loss for each procedure, the national averages at one year for the lap band are 45%, for the sleeve gastrectomy, 50 to 60 percent, and for the gastric bypass, approximately 70 percent. When we pull that data out further at five years, we see that the lap band uh, estimated weight loss is 55 percent. At this point, the sleeve gastrectomy doesn't have enough data, and the gastric bypass is about 58 percent. With respect to our practice, we see a estimated weight loss of the lap band hovering approximately 35 to 40 percent. Our sleeve gastrectomy is about 60 to 65 percent and our gastric bypass is about 65 to 70 percent. When we look at resolution of the comorbidities for each procedure, we can see that type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and sleep apnea are the key elements. With regard to each operation, the lap band uh, resolution of diabetes is about 60 percent, for hypertension 55 percent, and for sleep apnea closer to 90 percent. The sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass are stronger in that respect with a diabetes resolution of 80% to 90% respectively, a hypertension resolution of 60% to 65%, and a sleep apnea once again in excess of 90%. Here at Tri-State Bariatrics, if you choose one of these procedures, we do look forward to helping you through this weight loss journey.